Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be reacting to the Wavy Comeback Kickback. I've not seen a Wavy MV before. I've not listened to Wavy. I know they're a subunit of NCT and I love NCT. So I'm super excited to see what Wavy are all about, what they're going to be serving us. Is the streetwear going to be as good as NCT's? Let's get stuck in. On this channel, we're all about the looks. So if you want to find out what my favorite outfits are and delve a little deeper into the fashion from this MV, then make sure you stay tuned after my reaction. I upload videos here on my channel four times a week. So if you're not yet subscribed and you would like to be notified of my next reaction, which will be up tomorrow, Rosé's solo debut on the ground, then go ahead, press the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, please do give it a massive thumbs up. It really helps me out when it comes to the YouTube algorithm. Yes, oh my god, the prince, girl. I'm loving the vibe of this already. Come on, crop top. Pals, come on. They're serving it. Of course they are. NCT subunit would not expect anything less. Ah, oh, the jewelry, stop it. Supreme. This jacket is so sick, like. It's give it like the sleeves are giving me like animal print, but like the main like print applique, whatever it is on the jacket, rib cage. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Oh, the pearls are so good. I'm loving all these pearls in menswear. Oh, yes. I can't wait to watch this room pick up my favorite looks already. Like all of the prints, the colours, like this is bold. It's pretty. I really love the layering of the outfit, like the open shirt with that cropped jumper over the top. I've not seen that before. It's just smart styling and I expect nothing less from Wavy. They are an NCT subunit after all. You've got to keep that family group strong. <laughs> Yes, monochrome. Those black and white looks, these, fuck, like fuck. Oh, the blazer, no. I'm gonna have a hard time picking up favorite looks. <laughs> a little silver moment, come on. The more I'm seeing these outfits, the more I'm literally like. <laughs> that layering is so good, I'm still not over it. I'm loving that little flash of pink stripe. Very well done. What's going on here? These pastel looks, spring vibes. You know I'm here for the shit. These looks are killing me. Like this is spring. This is spring on a screen. Like the knit, the prints, the placements. Stop, stop, stop. Yes, come on. I'm loving that little flash of pink. That's so smart. Honestly, I've not seen an outfit yet I don't like. They're serving us everything. Spring, the pearls, the black and white. This is gonna be my thumbnail. I'm honestly loving all these spring colours, it's killing me. Ooh. This is so sick. That's prune jacket, come on. Oh. 
Honestly, I just have no words now. I'm just in awe of these outfits, like, girl. This video is so good. Getting like a little renaissance vibe there. Mic drop, mic drop. I had high expectations. Wavy is a subunit of NCT. NCT always set the bar high with the styling and I'm not let down. I'm honestly like, wow, fuck me. Like they served up a lot of looks in this MV. Let's get stuck into them right now. The first looks I wanna talk about are the looks where they're all kind of stood in these black pillars and the camera's going around in a circle. All of them are fantastic. The jewellery, the way it's layered, there's so much of it. It just looks so opulent. And then they've got the black tailoring, the pinstripes. It's just so great and it looks so good in that setting as well. I'm not going to pull out specific looks because I love every single one. I keep seeing loads of pearls popping up in menswear and streetwear as well. It looks absolutely fantastic. So I'm so glad that they did this. The first look I have to pull out is Hun in this blue motorcycle jacket, clearly by Supreme. I must admit I'm not like in love with the entire outfit, but this jacket has stolen the show. It is fucking amazing. I believe it's an applique, which basically means it's a fabric stitched on top of another fabric. We've got the yellow leather on top of the blue in this really cool rib, like, bone skeleton motif on top. I mean, we're bringing Halloween to the everyday here, people, and I'm here for it, obviously. It's just so bold, the contrasting colors. We can see that there are patches on the sleeve. It's got this, like, that classic motorcycle, like, jacket shape. More like, when I say motorcycle jacket shape, I don't mean, like, a biker jacket with the belt. I mean more like motocross, if that makes sense. There are two other looks I absolutely love from this scene. One of them is Tens, the crop jumper with the shirt and that long sleeve t-shirt underneath. I've not seen layering like that before and it just works so well. When I was reacting, I thought the shirt was actually open, but it just looks like they've buttoned it up so it kind of like mismatches. And then he's got the long sleeve yellow t-shirt underneath. We can see the cuff like poking out of his shirt. That's how we can tell it's long sleeved. I personally wouldn't wear purple trousers with this look. That's just personal taste, but I think it works really well with the video. It adds a little pop of colour in and the looks in this scene are so colourful, so it just works really well. The main thing I love is that layering. A crop jumper over that like oddly buttoned up shirt. It's just sick. It's clever. The other look, obviously Lucas. I crush on Lucas so hard. Like he's just so beautiful. <laughs> What I love is the print clash. I feel like every time I see a print clash, I'm like, I love the print clash. Lucas has got this really sick animal print blazer. I don't know if it's leopard or I think it's leopard. I'm gonna look dumb here at some point, aren't I? But they've laid the animal print blazer over this checked shirt and it's worn open with leather trousers. I just love all of the textures together. It's quite kitsch, it's a bit gaudy, but it's great, it works. My eye goes to him, maybe because he's my bias, who knows, but I think it's just a fantastic look. Speaking of Lucas, I actually really like all of his looks in this MV, so that leads us on to our next look. In the monochromatic scene, his look, when we open on him and really come zooming in, it's just so fucking good. What I love about this look is that the proportions of it are just so perfect. He's got this cropped white leather jacket on and the hem of it hits him right at where those high-waisted wide leg trousers sit. So the proportion on his body is just perfection. And what I really like is how they've kept the shirt open and the collar sits over the leather jacket. That's a really clever way to style something. And then he's got that nude snakeskin like tight body top on underneath. It is so good. It's so clever to include that like nude print in the monochromatic look. Do you know what I mean? It's just Personally, I would have not thought of that. It looks fucking great. Like, it's just so subtle. It's, I stand, I stand. <laughs> and then, you know, the next scene in the MV is Lucas again, so we might as well talk about it. I love this look. He's got these tie-dye effect trousers on with this white denim jacket. Of course, the thing I love is the printed shirt. In industry, this is called a border print shirt, and you can see that 
down the placket, which is where the buttons sit, and then around the hem of the shirt, you've got this pink border. So that's why it's called a border print shirt, because the print goes down where the edges of the shirt are, and it follows it around the back. I realize you can't see my fingers there, but you get the idea, it goes like this. But this outfit screams spring. It screams spring. I love the way that they've added the scarf onto his trousers. It adds a lot of movement when he dances. If you're a regular viewer, you know, as soon as there's a bit of fabric that moves when they dance, I'm literally like... <laughs> I feel like Hendry is a close second bias. Like this pink hair on him too is just speaking volumes to me. And whilst we're on the subject of Hendry, we might as well talk about his monochromatic look. This is another one that really stood out for me. He's got this black and white stripe leather collarless blazer on. The, the leather trousers, and I love the fact that they've put this nude shirt underneath that pop of pink. Looking closely at the top is actually a really fine pink stripe. It's just great. I love the fact that they've given him a little pop of colour, but it's underneath that nude, so it's not really expected it just works really well like the flashes of nude with these monochromatic looks i've not seen it before it works really well i'm not sat i'm sat here with my own nude monochromatic look what the fuck am i talking about how have i just realized that jeez looking really closely at the shirt and the scene here like i literally have my face pressed up against the laptop screen we can see that the nude shirt has this texture to it it looks like it's embroidered and then they've cut the inside of the embroidered fabric out so it gives it this really lightweight spring feel. I have a white shirt that's very similar. It's so beautiful layered over like other tops. It's just so good to see that texture in there. I think this has to be my favourite look because of the texture. We've got that really fine stripe, that really subtle embroidery on the nude top and then that really bold black and white striped leather jacket over the top. This look is also finished with like, I think like a nude pair of Converse, but it's just so clever. Like it's so subtle, but all of the textures work so beautifully together. I really love all of these pastel spring vibe outfits. It's screaming Versace to me. They're probably not all Versace. They might not be Versace at all, but it just screams that vibe to me, like Versace has this, Versace spring collections, they just hit different. There's always something very colorful, very fun about them, but there's always something very like sexy about them as well. They just do spring, summer perfectly. My three favorite looks out the spring, like Versace, Versace looks, Hendry, Lucas, we've already talked about. I also really love 10, those green trousers with that like pastely pink shirt. The color pairing just works so beautifully together. It's a bold look, like an entire printed look, the same with all of these looks. It's bold. I'm such a fan of this song, a fan of the MV. Most importantly, I'm a fan of the fashion. NCT always fucking kill it and Wavy a no exception. And I'm not surprised. I love, love, love the monochromatic looks. It's so smart to have the monochrome with the nude. Like Loki, <laughs> such a coincidence that I've put this on. Do you know? It's just it's just luck. And I didn't realize until I went through. But this, like, ugh, there are so many good looks, as you've just said. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fangirl over them anymore. Let me know in the comments what you think of Wavy Kickback and what other Wavy songs you'd like to see me reacting to here on my channel. But what you should do next is check out my Fashion Expert Reacts. I'll leave a little tab up here in the corner so you can check that out. But thank you so much for watching and thank you to everyone who subscribed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.